Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, what are we going to talk about today? I want to talk about the grind. Now, you see a lot of these um, people going out there, they say the solution to life is the grind. You have to grind. Like, thanks for the insight. Thanks for the uh, tremendous knowledge there, but I have to work a lot. So, let me uh, break down my criticism and uh, I think you'll find this useful. So when people are talking about the grind, of course, they're talking about working hard. Now, the problem with the whole grind concept is that it's not very fun, first of all. Second of all, it's actually a recipe for disaster. Don't get me wrong, you do have to work hard and consistently if you want to succeed in any field software development, business, whatever, boxing, doesn't matter. You have to work hard and consistently, but you don't want to work so hard that you're going to break yourself. One thing you have to avoid at all costs is something called burnout. All that burnout is, is just grinding way, way too much. You need to be pace yourself. When learning to become a developer, when starting a business, when learning anything new, really, the process needs a certain amount of time. You can speed it up with good mentors, good education, consistency, study habits that are, that are smart, but just brute force effort is not going to do it. In fact, it may, uh, you may wind up crashing and burning that situation. Again, hitting that uh, wall, and then maybe uh, burning out. You don't want to do that. You hear that a lot about developers who code like crazy for several years, and then they burn out. Happened to me. Happened to me. Happened to me with business. Happened to me with coding. You don't want to get there. What I've learned over the years through experience and watching other people as well, is the key to this is to have a consistent effort that's paced, intermixed with a good exercise, good diet, um, taking breaks. So for example, when I have people learning how to code, I tell them, you want to devote four to five days a week, minimum of 20 minutes a day. Oftentimes that 20 minutes becomes an hour, but not seven days a week, not five hours a day. You want to do maybe three to four hours a day, maybe that much. You need to give your brain time to rest, much like a bodybuilder needs to give their time, their body time, to rest after they do the workout. And they feed it uh, lots of nutrients and so forth. Same thing if you're learning something new, because you're literally rewiring your brain to think in a different way, if you're learning how to code. Or maybe you're a hardcore coder and you gotta start developing uh, good interpersonal soft skills. Same thing, you're learning to think, to interact in a different way. You have to give your brain time to assimilate the new knowledge, to uh, adapt to the new way of acting, the new way of being. So the grind narrative is not a very good one. I guess if you want to get lazy people uh, you know, out of their chair, sure, but you want to pace yourself. So consistency, pacing, interspersed with break time, that is how you are going to succeed. Ultimately, People talk about the grind because they want to succeed. So what is success? For most people, that's financial independence, right? Financial independence, time independence. Guess what? You don't have to make five, 10, 20, $100 million to reach that, in fact. You can do it far more quickly than you thought possible. I teach about this a lot. Let me give you some bullet points. Number one, forget the grind. It's about consistency, balanced work-life output so you can keep working and moving forward. That's number one. Number two, um, again, it's a re-emphasis of number one. You want to give yourself some downtime. The downtime, the break time, the relaxing time is just as important as the learning time. So you really need to de-emphasize the importance of downtime. Now, in downtime comes exercise and diet. I sort of include all that. You got to be in pretty decent shape. So you may want to do, for example, some people call micro workouts. Something I talked about years ago. You're working at your desk, you're working on some coding for an hour or two, whatever it is, you're starting to get a little bit stressed out. Take a walk, go take a walk, drink some water, maybe do five push-ups, you know, right at your desk, boom, 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 no big deal. Just get the blood flowing. This 
I'm telling you, if you develop these habits, it will pay off in a big way down the road. Now, I mentioned early on in this video that you don't want to find yourself in burnout. So burnout is when you hit this wall and all of a sudden you just don't feel like working at all. You're burnt out. People hit this. It's happened to me a couple of times. What happens when you hit burnout, it's kind of like letting yourself go too hard in terms of uh, how much food you eat and you put on 100 pounds. When you're 100 pounds overweight and you got all that weight literally weighing you down, right? It's really hard to reverse course at that point. In terms of diet and exercise, so forth, I always say, listen, as soon as you find yourself five, 10 pounds overweight, it's time to put on the brakes. It's time to start thinking about getting that weight back down to BMI, body mass index, that's reasonable. If you don't think the weight is having an impact in terms of your cognitive abilities and your, um, your daily, how well you rested, uh, how fatigued you are, take a, a, a nap stack, good nap stack, put 50 pounds of bricks in there, put it on, walk around for a half an hour, an hour, see what happens. You'll see if it has a lot of strain, same thing. So you wanna lose weight, but you don't wanna let the weight get too heavy because it's a lot harder to get it back. It's a lot harder to lose 100 pounds and change out all those habits that got you to 100 pounds, it's much more of a habit thing than anything else, than it is to stop and say, oh, I gotta lose these five pounds or these 10 pounds. Anyway, so when it comes to burnout, it's much the same thing. If you grind too long and you hit burnout, it's like, it's like waking up one morning, realize you, you put on 100, 200 pounds. It's hard to get out of burnout, it's hard. That's why I tell people, take breaks during the day, relax, you know, uh, when you're studying something that's new, very tasking on the mind, three to four hours max. That's why I advise people, three to four hours max. If you're doing some hardcore coding that's really like brain teasers, heavy duty thinking and architecture questions, um, that will tire you out. So you gotta give yourself rest after you do that. If you're doing mindless work like setting up a basic, you know, the, the class structure or the interface structure for your app or something, um, doing the initial design of a database table, of the database rather in the tables, simple stuff, yeah, okay, you can do that longer because it's kind of light, it's like lifting light weights, you can do a lot, that a lot longer. But the main lesson to take away is don't grind yourself into the ground. Don't grind yourself to the point where you burn yourself out. The key, to making it where you want to go is daily effort, consistent effort, not stressed out. You wanna be relaxed. You wanna be the relaxed warrior coder, making your way towards your goal. How does this grind finally relate to financial independence? Financial independence, actually, it's not what you think. Well, having 10 million bucks in the bank, you'd think it, that's, that would be financial independence or 100 million. Not necessarily, look at Mike Tyson. The guy burned through hundreds of millions of dollars and he went broke, right? So he was not financially independent. He was a huge earner, but he was not financially independent, right? Because he went broke. Now, the key to financial independence is to setting up habits and um, a psychological disposition, if you will, where you're just relaxed. You're not worried about paying bills. You're not stressed out about having to get that contract or get that job. The first step to that is FU money. FU money is the first step. I talk about that. I put out a couple of videos on FU money. You can look them up. Maybe I'll link to them or somebody else in the comments could link to my FU money video. The first step is the FU money, which gives you that padding. So you're not worried about losing your job. The next step is to set up an automatic system of investment towards ultimate retirement. And another, the third, third point I want to bring out is that you don't want to be in debt to credit cards, any high interest debt. You got to get rid of that. So if you do these simple three things, right, get rid of your credit card debt, set up a system where you're automatically accumulating wealth for retirement. You don't have to really think about it. And uh, having a nice stash of FU money. If you do freelance, having a disparate, having a disparate set of clients, having 10, 15 small clients rather than one or two big. If you do that, you find yourself super relaxed all of a sudden because you're not worried about making that paycheck. You're not worried about paying that bill. 
and it gives you a lot of flexibility and it'll take off 80% of the pressure that you have in your life, which will improve your health as a result, right? Pressure, anxiety, that good for the health. So there you go, quick video on the grind of the faux F-A-U-X representation of what the grind is and the benefits of the grind. Now, there's a much more nuanced interpretation of grind that I've just presented to you. I hope you embrace it because you will enjoy your life. So if you'd like to learn more from me, check out my links below. I have my solo train courses, solo learning courses, which are inexpensive on web design development, Python, entrepreneurship, freelancing, psychology, everything you need to, to have to set yourself up for independence, psychological and financial independence. Or if you like direct support with me, check out my mentoring program, links below. And uh, that's my, my most premium, my most supportive training that you can get. And uh, people love the program, so you may want to check it out.